Good morning, everybody. As you can see, I don't want to hold the camera out too far. Rain, fog, wind. Probably not going to film too much today. I'm going to just put the head down and pound away. But um, we left Dix Creek Gap at around 9 o'clock. And the only reason we waited that long is because there was a heavy band going through. So we were hoping... If you look, the whole East Coast is dry except this band that we're hiking in. And it's coming up on an angle, so we'll be in it all day. But we should go by the North Carolina-Tennessee border. Um, but uh, yeah, nothing but rain, wind, and fog. So I weighed my pack at the hostel. I ended up picking up a mat, and they had these ultralight pumps too, which were even cheaper than the Thermarest pump. So, charge it up and we'll see how it works. I'm gonna try and stay in the shelter tonight. But my pack was 47 pounds. Then you add my fanny pack, and I'm at 50, well over with everything else I'm wearing. So, so far I don't feel too bad, but. That's still too much weight. Um, the only thing I could really take out right now is maybe swap out the sleeping mat I just bought when I get into the Smokies and maybe uh, one more pair of warmer gloves. I did find some marmot gloves in the hiker box last night, the outfitter, which was really good. And another positive note is four of us left together at the same time, so two behind me one two in front of me one behind me so uh the one up in the front he's going for a triple this year so he's he probably took off i don't know might catch up with him that was he's a good dude and then uh another buddy in front of me and then got one behind me so um i know at least two of us if not three, possibly four, could all be staying at the same shelter. So we'll see. But um, it's getting really snotty here with the mud and leaves and rocks. So I'm going to have to put this away and get my poles out. So we'll check in later. This came down the trail. A big tree fell down recently. But every, this might be the second or third time there was a hot second that we were in the pocket of a cloud that you could see a little bit of the mountains and then the fog down, fog and clouds down in there in the valleys. But uh, whew, more of the same today. Not a whole lot to see other than rain. Oh, uh, uh, drop, drop my bag that my phone was in. Sorry. A lot of rain, fog, wind. And like I said, every hot second wouldn't last long at all. You'd be able to get a little break in the clouds to see uh, a little view. But uh, that being said, We're just trekking along. Oh, too much multitasking here. I don't want to fall down this big ass ravine, so I'm gonna put the phone away for now. But uh, not a whole lot to report to, other than uh, my back is not bothering me whatsoever today. My legs feel great. I don't have my hiker legs yet, but I'm stopping very, very 
little going up these mountains. So that's about all for now. This is about the best view we've had today. We've passed several spots that had good views, but uh, we couldn't see anything because of the fog and, the, and actually hiking in a cloud. Ears popping all day, you know, same thing over and over. Good stuff. All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. Just a couple of seconds ago, it cleared off a little bit. This is the, the most clear it's been today. That's where we came from, heading up the hill. But it has been one miserable day, but I'd rather be doing this than sitting in a hospital bed, I can tell you that. Just a foggy, rainy, windy day, but there's a bright spot. Hell yeah. North Carolina, Georgia border, baby. Let me go to a different state here quick. I'm in North Carolina. Now I'm in Georgia. Salute. That's some liquid goodness. I've uh, I've missed happy hour the last eight days because uh, being on the trail. But uh, I have to say, it's pretty awesome out here. Um, there's the trail behind me. We're gonna go up there and get her done. And uh, the rain's starting to pick up again, so. That's pretty cool. It stopped just in time to do this. Goodbye, Georgia. Hello, North Carolina. Georgia, we're done. Get her done. Feeling good to be in North Carolina. That was awesome. Funny thing is, it's only me. Something happened to the phone when I was recording that. So I had that was the third take I did. So I had to do three shots. So. I'm not too sad about it <laughs> but anyway uh, we're gonna get up the road here and uh, I think we're shooting for muskrat shelter in North Carolina so um, I'm gonna get off the video here and check to see where we are in the navigation and we'll be there soon and I'll touch base with you then Looking down at the clouds. And we were actually just coming through one. Just climbed out of one. After the official trio of Lowe's and Home Depot climbed right out of that cloud. Pretty neat. That's where we're heading. That's what we just came up. Very steep. And that's where we're going. So we just passed the double blaze for, uh, it was a blue blaze, to go back to a, a lookout. But just on cue, clouds rolled in, dense, dense fog. Couldn't see anything, so I didn't even bother walking back here. Um, did run into a nice pile of bear scat about half a mile back and uh, North Carolina 
gave a hell, hell of a welcoming. Man, that was straight up. That was pretty intense. But we made it. And uh, they say that um, hiking the Appalachian Trail from start to finish is like climbing Mount Everest 17 times. We got to get be getting close to the first one because, man, we're hitting some serious elevation. But anyway, it's getting pretty chilly out. Cold, damp, windy, dreary day. And in a way, it really sucks. And in another way, it's pretty gratifying. But anyway, we got a couple miles yet until we get to the shelter. And then uh, we'll get set up and I'll talk at you then. We have been climbing and climbing and climbing ever since we got into North Carolina. It's no joke. Whew. I think this is the most level spot right here. Taking a little snack break. Wow. We are high and it is foggy. We're in, I, we got to be in a cloud. <clears throat> All right, let's get her done.